The Prime Minister has hit out after he was egged by a protester with an elderly woman knocked down in the scuffle. Scott Morrison likened the attack to thuggery and condemned what he called militant unionists. In a stark contrast to the egg boy attack, the female protester was charged with assault within hours. A gathering of the Country Women's Association interrupted by an extraordinary event. Good Scott Morrison isn't sure at first what has just happened. <laughs> the egg missed, but Mr Morrison's security detail didn't. Is this necessary? The Prime Minister going to the aid of an elderly woman knocked over in the commotion. <laughs> Later, laughing it off. The CWA could give her a really good idea about what you're supposed to do with eggs. <laughs> Um, in terms of some baking or something like that. Bill Shorten condemning the attack. This is appalling and disgraceful behaviour. The woman, Amber Page, left with more than egg on her own face, charged with common assault and possession of marijuana. This is the most harmless thing you can do. In a tweet, Mr Morrison likened her to militant unionists. Just because you have a difference of view to someone doesn't mean that you have to engage in these sort of ugly types of protests. But her Facebook account is filled with messages supporting the Greens. The Greens absolutely condemn these actions and we think the way to defeat a shocking government is at the ballot box. The incident follows the egging of Senator Fraser Anning. It's not right. I think it's disgusting. Both leaders insist their security is adequate and that this is one of the unfortunate risks of modern campaigning. The continuing colour and movement of this campaign is of no consequence to a record number of people. A number of Australians who've now already cast their ballot at pre-poll booths today moved beyond one million voters. But some of that colour and movement Australia could do without. No, no, she missed. She had a bad shot. Mark Riley, 7 News. Brett. A Country Women's Association morning tea with the Prime Minister has descended into chaos after a young woman tried to slam an egg into Scott Morrison's head. Many are now asking how the protester, who's been charged with assault, was able to come within striking distance of him. Here's political editor Chris Yulman. It's the stuff of police protection detail nightmares. From a crowded room, a woman lunges at the Prime Minister. This time her weapon is just an egg that scrapes Scott Morrison's scalp. <laughs> As police wrestle the assailant to the ground, an elderly woman is knocked off her feet and the Prime Minister goes to her aid. Amber Holt was led off by the Australian Federal Police through a crowd unamused by her brand of political activism. Silly girl. You're appalling. Absolutely appalling. As is everyone that works in this piece of... The 24-year-old retail worker was still wearing her work lanyard when taken to Albury Police Station. We have a female in custody in relation to an incident involving the Prime Minister this morning. Cannabis was found on Amber Holt, who was charged with common assault and possessing a prohibited drug. She will appear in court on May 27. Why did you hit the Prime Minister? I didn't hit the Prime Minister, I you missed. Almost did. Some of her Facebook posts have included attacks on Scott Morrison. And this physical attack was condemned across the political divide. This is appalling and disgraceful behaviour. At a later gathering with the Prime Minister, Liberal Senator Jane Hume made light of the affair. Supporting regional and rural families, and particularly the poultry industry, I think, was well supported this morning, <laughs> Prime Minister. And Scott Morrison also tried to laugh it off. Well, pardon the pun, but I don't want to over-egg this thing. But on a day when there was yet another ugly incident, with faeces put in a book and dumped on Tony Abbott's doorstep, the Prime Minister warned of a loss of civility in politics. We've just got to disagree better about these things. Just because you have a difference of view to someone doesn't mean that you have to engage in these sort of ugly types of protests. Australian Prime Ministers have been egged before, but there is growing concern that politics here is taking on a harder edge. People are allowed to protest peacefully. But anything approaching violence is completely unacceptable. There is, has been, I think, a, an ugly side to some of these protests. And happily so far, no one has been injured. But police will be pressing to beef up the Prime Minister's security. Chris Yulman, Nine News. 
And Chris Hulman's in Canberra this evening. Chris, the Prime Minister's security is now in doubt. Yeah, Pete, security is always reviewed after the Prime Minister's safety has been compromised and the Australian Federal Police have the power to veto the Prime Minister's events if they believe any of them are too risky. And one has been cancelled in the last year. But Scott Morrison, like all Australian leaders, wants to be able to meet the people. The fact that he can walk safely in crowds should be celebrated because it's not true of many places on earth. Idiots like the young woman today risk not only public safe safety, Pete, but changing the very nature of our peaceful politics.